Hey everyone, so happy to have you here again. It's the start of a new season, and that means it's time for another closet to clutter and a capsule wardrobe switch over. I like to do this at the start of every season to make my wardrobe feel exciting and fresh without necessarily having to rely on buying new clothes to get that fix. See, I used to be a shopaholic and in six-figure debt. The start of a season usually meant it was a chance for me to go on a shopping spree in search of a fresh new wardrobe. Except that usually landed me with a closet full of clothes, nothing to wear, and a whole lot of buyer's remorse, plus interest. Nowadays, I have a much healthier relationship with my shopping, and I realize that starting with what you already have is the best place to start. It doesn't mean you have to get rid of everything, but it's going to help you get a lot more clarity on what you love, what you don't, and what you want to come in next. So in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how I declutter for a new season, how I build a capsule wardrobe that feels like me that I just cannot wait to wear, and what I do with the things I let go of. So let's get into it. When you're trying to curate your wardrobe, I know it may feel counterintuitive to start with your own closet instead of shopping for new stuff. If you're used to feeling overwhelmed by your clothes, then I think it's super easy to just hate everything and then go out to buy all the capsule wardrobe basics you saw on that Pinterest infographic that one time. But the problem with this is that you still don't really know what you like, and now you have a closet full of even more clothes and still nothing to wear. So I like to think of this as a chance to give yourself a clean slate. You get rid of what's in the way so you can see what you have more clearly. You know what you wear a lot, what you liked so much that you couldn't possibly let it go, and now you can see any gaps that you'll want to fill in later. This is why we declutter. I like to start my declutters the same way every single time. I'm just going to empty up my wardrobe and put everything on the bed where I can see it. This is also a chance for me to do a quick once over inside my closet since dust tends to build up pretty easily here. I'll do a quick wipe down and vacuum so that my clothes and shoes have a clean slate. Once I've got my big pile on the bed, I start dividing it into three smaller piles. I like to call them my hell yes, my hell no, and my storage pile. I always start with my hell yeses. They're the items in my closet that I immediately know I wanna keep without any moment of hesitation. If you're decluttering, I strongly suggest you start with your hell yeses. This way you frame it in a mindset of what stays rather than what you think you should get rid of. It really doesn't matter if you wear these pieces all the time or if you never wear them. Just keep what you want. If the piece is something I know I'll wear for the upcoming season, I like to just put these right back into my wardrobe, get them out of the way. Then I start sorting my hell no's. Here I'm getting rid of items that are damaged, stained to shit, items I know for sure I won't wear or don't like to wear, and the items that no longer fit me that I'm not gonna fight to squeeze my way back into. Like these beige trousers or these black jeans. They're still in really great shape though, so I'm gonna sell these. But also know that some pieces just shouldn't be sold or donated. So if you wouldn't turn anything in your no pile to a hand-me-down, consider discarding them appropriately or repurpose them. I do this a lot with t-shirts by turning them into hair towels. Yes, hair towels, try it. Your hair will dry faster with way less frizz and you can thank me later. As I've been putting my hell yes items back into my closet, you'll see that I've been setting some pieces aside. These aren't necessarily pieces I wanna get rid of, but they are pieces I don't think I'll be wearing much in the upcoming season. So pieces like my heavier wool blazers, or this more colorful blazer that makes me feel more like Christmas than it does make me feel like spring. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. But what would I wear? I don't necessarily want to get rid of these, so I'm going to store these away instead. I'll also do this with pieces that aren't necessarily a hell no, but I don't really want them in my wardrobe at the moment either, so I'll just put these away for later. I'm also going to go into my denim drawer to swap out my darker denim for some more light washes that I've been looking forward to wearing. This part of the process is really all about finding pieces that you're done wearing for the season and keeping them out of your active wardrobe so that they just don't get in the way. Because that's when you can start feeling a little bit overstuffed and overwhelmed with your wardrobe and probably where you'll end up just wearing the same thing over and over again. No bueno, we don't want that. Put it away. 
I usually keep my seasonal storage under the bed using these long plastic containers and bigger items like shoes in this blue container that lives in another room. You'll see here that I have a few winter pieces that can go away, a few pieces that I want to come out like this leather blazer, and a few that I'm going to keep in storage until I revisit them for the summer. By the time I'm ready to do this again, it'll feel like visiting an old friend and then the item will feel brand new. I'm also going to take the opportunity to rejig my shoes for the season, swapping out heavier boots for my canvas sneakers, some cute mules, sandals, and even these really fun cowboy boots. One thing I'm really working on is trying to make it so my shoes are actually on display instead of hiding in their boxes, so I'm just reminded to wear them more. Because I don't know about you, but for me, I feel like shoes just make or break the outfit, so I want to see what I've got. So I'm hoping you can see by now that this process all sort of happens simultaneously. I'll be putting pieces back into my wardrobe while pulling out others from storage or setting them aside to declutter or sell. It's really just a chance for me to revisit my wardrobe, see what I've got, force myself to actually style some pieces that I've been neglecting and just getting rid of things that I feel like have finally run their course. So once I've put everything away and reorganized the wardrobe, I like to take a few minutes to take photos of the pieces that I plan on selling and posting them to resale websites like Poshmark or Depop. If you want to know exactly how I sell my clothes to make some money online, you can check out this video right here and I'll leave it in the description. It's a great way for me to make a little bit of extra money back on clothes that I'm not wearing and for someone else who's looking to fill in some gaps in their own closet to get a good deal. And there you have it. The mess is cleaned up. I have a brand new capsule wardrobe that's ready for the season that I can see clearly and in many ways feels brand new. I mean, I can fill in some gaps if I want to later, but the beauty of it all is that now I know exactly what I have since I've taken the time to revisit it and spent some actual time with my stuff. Instead of just scrolling on the internet trying to find more. And to be honest, right now, I don't really feel like shopping at all because I'm super stoked to start playing around with this new wardrobe that I built today. So friends, this to me is the beauty of a capsule wardrobe and a really good declutter. It's exactly how you can refresh your own wardrobe for a new season, all without shopping. I hope you found some value in today's video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday. Happy decluttering! Bye.